Um, this one, some people get confused on these because are we replacing X with 20? Well, no, that's not the case because this tells us that F of X is 20, not that X is 20. So I'm going to replace just like we would with a system of equations if I was to substitute. I'm going to replace f of x with 20. See, this is, this is f of x. I'm going to replace it with 20. So 20 equals x minus 8 squared. Let's do it. So on this one, since I have something squared on one side, and it's all squared, and just another number on the other side, I can just square root both, both of these. So now I have the absolute value of x minus 8 this equals the square root of 20 and we can look to simplify that later <clears throat> so from here I can split x minus 8 and yeah we can switch those so x minus 8 equals the positive square root of 20 but x minus 8 equals the negative square root of 20 <clears throat> so for both of these all I need to do is add 8 to both sides And, yeah, since these are in like terms, we've got 8 plus the square root of 20. And here we have 8 minus the square root of 20. But 20, as uh, we can factor that so that one of the factors is a perfect square, right? So I got the square root of 20. Let's just take a look at that. I've got 4 and 5. So it's square root of 4 times the square root of 5. The square root of 4 is a perfect square, 2, so I got 2 times the square root of 5. And now that leaves me with x, x equals 8 plus 2 times the square root of 5, and x equals 8 minus 2 times the square root of 5. And this would be our complete completely simplified answer. So if by chance you wanted to, you could have written x <coughs> equals 8 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 5.